Hello students, I am Adi Chavardhan from adichemistry.com. This is part 1 of Wilkinson's Catalyst, a quick introduction for CSIR Net, GATE, IIT JAM and other university level exams. So first of all, what is Wilkinson's Catalyst? It is a homogeneous hydrogenation catalyst represented by RHCl, PPH3 taken thrice. Its IUPAC name is Chlorotris triphenylphosphine rhodium-1. It is a square planar 16 electron complex. The oxidation state of rhodium is plus 1. It is used in the selective hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes without affecting the functional groups like C double bond O, CN, NO2, aryl, CO2R, etc. Wilkinson's catalyst is highly selective in hydrogenation reactions. For example, less substituted and sterically less hindered double bonds are selectively hydrogenated. Exocyclic double bonds are selectively hydrogenated over endocyclic double bonds. Cis alkenes are reduced rapidly than trans alkenes. Isolated double bonds are rapidly hydrogenated over conjugated dienes. Terminal alkenes are hydrogenated more rapidly than terminal alkenes. The functional groups like CO, CN, NO2, aryl, CO2R, etc. are unaffected during the hydrogenation reactions in presence of Wilkinson's catalyst. For example, look at this conversion only the double bond is reduced by leaving C double bond O and NO2 groups intact. The unsaturated double bonds nearer to a polar functionality are hydrogenated more rapidly. For example, in this case, the double bond which is in conjugation with cyanide group is selectively hydrogenated. The hydrogenation reactions catalyzed by Wilkinson's catalyst are stereospecific. It results in syn addition products. For example, in this case, the deuterium atoms are added from the same side of the double bond. An interesting side reaction observed is decarbonylation. The Wilkinson's catalyst can be used to bring about decarbonylation of sterically less hindered aldehydes. However, decarbonylation is a non-catalytic process. The CO group replaces triphenylphosphine permanently. Hence, it is a serious limitation to the efficiency of Wilkinson's catalyst. Okay, this is end of part 1. Visit following page for more information. The mechanism and catalytic cycle will be discussed in the next part. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I am Aditya Vardhan from adichemistry.com.